Hey, Skya, guess what? It's Valentine's Day soon. Yeah. You know what that means? No, Skya, you're not going to have chocolate. You're not. N no, Skya, you're not going to. I know you want some. Skya, I've got something better for you. Yeah. It's cookies. Valentine's cookies. Yeah, you want to make some? Yeah? Okay, let's make some. Lucky for you, Skya, these cookies only have four ingredients, so they're easy to make. Yeah. What? Skya? I, I know you're not dumb. Yes, you can handle more, but these, these cookies only take four, Skya. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you want a complicated cookie. I wanted to make a simple one. Okay, Skya, so these cookies are gonna take peanut butter. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I know you like peanut butter, but geez, wait. Oh, now it's stuck on your tongue. Look at you. Oh yeah, peanut butter central right here. Okay, Skya. Okay, and we'll also need one egg, yeah. We're gonna use some pureed beets, right, to make it pink, and some oat flour. Yeah, some oat flour, Skya. Does that seem simple enough? You wanna start? Okay, okay. So for this, Skya, we're also gonna need our trusty KitchenAid mixer, right? And we're gonna need our heart-shaped cookie cutter, right? For the little Skyu. <laughs> you like hearts? Yeah? You're excited, aren't you? Okay, before we start, Skya, did you make sure to preheat the oven? Yeah? To 350 degrees? Okay, good girl. Okay, so first, Skya, we're going to put in our wet ingredients. So one egg. You wanna lick that? She's so unsure. Then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of pureed beets. So I did this by boiling and peeling beets and then pureeing them in a blender. But if you can, I'm pretty sure you can find some already canned pureed beets and you can use that as well. You wanna put the beets in, Skya? Yeah? Watch out, Skya. <laughs> you like that? Okay, and next, Skya, we're going to put in a half cup of peanut butter. Yeah, your favorite, right? Oh, you like that, huh? Oh my gosh, it's splashing everywhere. Skya, want a leftover? Skya, you've got peanut butter all over your tongue. You want more? More. Look at you, you're making a mess. And now that we've got all our wet ingredients together in here, we can put this down and we can start mixing. Sky's never, Sky's never seen this start mixing, so let's see how she reacts. What is that, Skya? Oh, watch out, Skya, be careful. Now that we've got this beautiful reddish pink mixture, we can add our oat flour, huh, Skaya? Yeah. <laughs> For this, I bought oat flour, but you can actually grind up some oats in a food processor and it'll give you a quite a similar result. I just prefer this because it's a little finer. So we're adding a little bit of flour at a time. Don't touch it, not yet, Skya. Hey, 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 she already likes it, clearly. And we're just gonna add the rest of our oat flour now. We're gonna wait until this becomes a firm ball. Skya, why are you showing me your butt? Well, our dough has come together. Skya, you're, you're gonna have some. So now we're going to pull out the dough and do the rest by hand. Here, Skya, you wanna lick the beater? Is it yummy? I think this is a sign you're gonna like the cookies, Skya. So we've got a pretty firm dough ball here. You'll have the leftovers, okay, Skya? I promise. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a pretty firm dough ball, but it's not sticking to my hands too badly. That's the consistency you want. Huh, Skya? 
You like it, right? Okay, okay. You clearly like it. So you can actually do this on a floured surface um, and roll it out like that, but I like to do it between two pieces of parchment paper. It's a lot less messy that way. And you want to roll this to about a quarter of an inch thick. So now that we've rolled out our dough, don't eat it, Skaya. Hey, 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 don't. I see you. So as I was saying, now that we've laid out our dough, we can start using the heart-shaped cookie cutter to cut out some hearts. No, don't eat the dough. Okay, so we've laid out 12 hearts and we've got a bunch of leftover dough, right, Skaya? And you can just ball that back up together, roll it out again, and make some more hearts. More hearts, Skaya? After we bake these ones, okay? So we're going to put these into our 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, okay, Skaya? You want them now? Skaya, they'll be nice and crunchy when they come out. Skaya, you have to wait. Be patient, okay? So we took our cookies out of the oven and they've been cooling on this cooling rack, right, Skaya? You wanna decorate them now? Yeah, oh, you wanna decorate, Skaya? Okay, let's decorate them. So to decorate our cookies, we made an icing using plain unsweetened Greek yogurt and a bit of leftover beet juice from those pureed beets. And you just mix the two up together until you get a nice pink color just like this. And there you go, you've got a nice dog-friendly icing. So we are finally done frosting our beautiful Valentine's cookies. Do you like them, Skaya? Yes? Are they pretty? Yeah, you want one? Okay. Let's test one, okay? Here. Here, Skaya. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> you want it? Okay, here you go. Good girl. Where are you taking it? Are you gonna lick the frosting first? Yeah, she's licking the frosting. You gonna take a bite? Take a bite? Yeah. Was it yummy, Skaya? Yeah? You want another one? But Skaya, you're gonna spoil your dinner. What? <laughs> you don't care. Skaya. You just want cookies for dinner? Yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll just have to, okay, okay. You'll have cookies, okay? But only a little at a time. It's just a treat. <laughs> don't be upset about it, Skaya. You silly girl.